Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, so this will be my last video for this week, um, and then we'll have another one on Tuesday morning, and uh, that'll be the schedule for, for the foreseeable future anyway. Um, so let's just jump right back in. I just want to remind you, uh, Sunday, church. Um, and uh, we'll continue uh, talking about the names of God. Um, and I'll just give you a little preview. It's El Makedesh is the next name. Um, and you'll have to just kind of um, uh, see what, what that's all about. Um, but anyway, um, let's jump in. So we're going to be in 19 through 21, I believe, today. All right. All right, let's do it. It says, my dearly loved brothers, understand this. Everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. For a man's anger does not accomplish God's righteousness. Therefore, ridding yourself of all moral filth and evil, humbly receive the implanted word, which is able to save you. So as we read this and, and remember, I think sometimes we want to separate things in this, in this letter, but every verse and every section and every chapter has a, a I've been talking about this, this light that, or this flashlight or this light that, that um, um, enlightens or lightens up the path of the scripture that we're on. So remember, we have started out this whole thing talking about um, consider it uh, pure joy when you find yourself in trials, uh, circumstances. Those That's kind of the light of this whole first um, chapter. And so when we get into this part, I mean, even though it's a separate heading for you in your scripture, um, let's just kind of look at it in light of, of that. It says, so first of all, my dearly loved brothers. So the writer of this is saying, look, I may be saying hard things to you, but I love you. Um, and I think that is um, uh, a hallmark of a follower of, you know, of Christ is that we, we reach out in love and sometimes we, there's hard things. Um, but and that's the whole Bible. That's Jesus. That's God. That's Holy Spirit. He loves us. Um, and sometimes we forget that because we let our circumstances get in the way of our feeling of how God loves us. We do that with each other. Um, we do that uh, with God. And, and so one of the things is, is to understand that, that God loves us uh, in spite of our circumstances. And, and we are to be that way as well with each other. And so um, and it's easy to say, you know, I love you and all those things. Um, but it's it's those actions that go with that. Um, so it's just as you, whatever circumstance you find this. So understand, we we are starting this whole thing in the basis of love, from the from the Father, the Father's love, and then the love that we have for one another. And it says, understand this: everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Um, I think so many times in our society we have opinions about everything and we believe that we have to have our opinion out there. Um, uh, you know, it's funny because one of my biggest frustrations is social media and what am I doing here this morning? I'm on social media uh, giving a Bible uh, devotion, but um, I, I think we are so um, easily say, well, I've, I've got to... Um, I've got to speak my mind. I've got to speak this, and I've got to, even if it's right, even if we're in, you know, uh, sometimes it's better for us to say nothing at the, at the moment until God shows us for sure. But we need to be quick to hear God, quick to hear, uh, put ourselves in, 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 in that position of hearing what God has to say. Um, we need to be quick to hear others, and and when it says to hear. Um, it's to, to, to do your best. I and mean, through all these things that we've been going through, um, we try to hear. Um, that's, you know, the big thing is that we need to hear each other. We need to hear God. And, and, and we need to be slow to speak. Sometimes people just need us to listen uh, and not give our opinion and not give advice. Um, advice can be dangerous sometimes. Um, uh, I was watching a TV show uh, and one of the, the things there was a tragic thing that happened and uh, and in the tv show the guy says to this other person hey you know they were lucky minor injuries well for the person going through that is not lucky they don't feel that way right and so sometimes we have to hear be slow and then be slow to anger anger uh, to defend someone 
anger to defend ourselves, anger to defend God, slow to this anger. Now remember, the scripture tells us that anger is an emotion given by God, and it just says, in your anger, do not sin. And so that's why I think we need to be slow to anger, because I think sometimes when we get angry fast, then we say things, we do things that we probably shouldn't, and, um, and then we cause more damage. And I totally understand, uh, you know, been there, done that, bought a t-shirt. I mean, that's been, uh, in my past, that's, that's been. And so asking the Lord to help me to quick, be quick at my listening, slow to my speaking, and, and slow to anger. For a man's anger does not accomplish God's righteousness. So, I mean, we know that our righteousness is like filthy rags. So it's Jesus' righteousness in us that causes us to, to be even able to do righteousness. Um, and so, uh, but if we are angry, man's anger, we can't do God's righteousness. Um, um, we, we tend to lock up. We tend to, uh, maybe this is just me. I tend to fall back. Um, uh, and so instead of being God's righteousness, being his, his, being in the right with him, with people, we can only do that with him. Um, I'm so thankful that God's righteousness is, or Jesus' righteousness is what drives us, that um, we've, been, we've been given an opportunity to use his righteousness. And, and um, I don't know, that just makes me feel good here. And I know feelings aren't always the, you know, I say that, but it just gives me joy um, that he still, still is in us and works through us and it's and and the reason it's his righteousness is so that we give him the glory because I think so many times if we do the right thing or we we feel like we're doing the right thing um, then we begin to take God's glory um, and so we've got to be careful with that let's use his righteousness in, in, in all that so therefore what is the therefore in order for us to live like he's saying that quick to hear slow to uh, speak slow to anger um, using God's righteousness is 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 ridding ourselves and even being able to consider it pure joy is 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 getting rid of all the moral filth morals those the whims of society what we feel is right um, those things um, I think uh, I've, I've talked about this before we met mix up morals versus um uh oh i can't even think of the word um what ought to be um and and so sometimes um or we would call that ethics is you know morals change like in a society morals change i mean look at our nation over the years morals have changed um but ethics don't ethics says this is how it ought to be this is how it should be this is where we need to be and so i think um you know, we need to, all that, the moral filth, the, the whims, the change. We need to find out in Scripture, this, this thing right here. We need to find in Scripture what God says, what, how, he, how He wants us to act, what His anchoring understandings are, and let us walk in those uh, despite what society says, despite what um, uh, uh, the, the, the moral whims of, of, of people uh, of, of even in the church, you know, is what the church is teaching in here. That's that's the thing. Okay, so, um, but get rid of all that. You rid yourself. Get rid of it. And evil, so you're getting rid of these things. But then what do we do? We receive something. It says we receive the implanted word which is able to save you. I love this because the implanted word, when we accept Jesus... Um, I even think before we accept Jesus, God has put himself on the hearts of people. That's why, uh, that's why people are drawn to him that don't believe yet. Uh, the Holy Spirit does that. That is an amazing thing. But I need you to know that in you is implanted the word of God and, and the word. And, and, and I don't want to just get stuck on the scripture. I, I, I want to get the word Jesus in the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was I mean, that whole thing that lines God up in the Trinity, that lines God up in uh, Jesus up in the Trinity and, and, and lines everything up. All right. He's implanted himself in you. Hallelujah. He is in you. 
and that is able to save you. Yes, salvation, but to rescue you from the situations, to rescue us from ourselves. He is that awesome, and that is what's going on in this passage of Scripture. Guys, I love you to pieces, and I can't wait to be back with you again on Tuesday. Hope to see you at church, hope or online. I love you guys. Talk to you later. God bless.